Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.7 But, O Arjuna, a person who performs action with his working senses in accordance with the injunctions of the scriptures, who regulates his senses through the mind and who is free from all fruitive desires, is superior. Sar Ardavarshini It is indicated here that even a married person who acts in accordance with scripture is recognized as superior to the false renunciant described in the previous verse. Sri Bhagavan explains this by speaking this verse beginning with Yastu. Here, Karma Yoga refers to action prescribed in scripture and Asaktaha means without desire for the fruits of one's activity. This means that the person who acts according to the injunctions of scripture with no desire for the fruits of his activities attains a superior condition. Sri Ramanuj Acharya says, Asambhavita Brahmadatvena Jnana Nishtat Api Purushat Vishishtaha That householder who has controlled his knowledge acquiring senses Janishtriyas and his working senses Karmendriyas is better than a so-called transcendentalist who makes a display of his knowledge. The pseudo-transcendentalist may deviate because his senses are uncontrolled, but there is no possibility that a householder who has controlled his knowledge-acquiring senses will deviate or be careless while performing his prescribed duties with his working senses. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti In order to purify the heart, it is imperative to perform action prescribed in scripture without attachment. Those practitioners or sadhakas who after controlling their knowledge acquiring senses, such as the eyes, ears and tongue, perform karma yoga with their working senses, such as the legs, hands and speech, without desiring the fruits of their activities, and who are careful and attentive in their endeavor, are qualified to attain Purush Arta, the supreme goal of human life. Such practitioners who aspire for the transcendental goal are superior to those who accept sannyas impetuously, forcibly controlling the working senses while enjoying sense objects through their knowledge-acquiring senses.